Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my February favorites, and this is the first video that I'm filming for my new place. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it so much. I feel like I still have a ton to do. I've got to get, like, bunk beds for the kids' room. I have to get, like, a, like, a tall, like, wardrobe and stuff for them and everything like that, but, um, it's coming along, and I'm figuring out the storage situation, and I know in my last sort of, like, apartment tour sneak peek situation video, um, I had a ton of people asking me, and it's by a ton, I mean, like, five, um, asking me to <laughs> do, like, a, you know, show you what it looks like after I'm done, because it is really small, and I'm downsizing a lot, so I'm gonna have to get creative, so, I will be doing that for you, and just to mention, I had said in that video before, I'm right on the street, the video that I'm using, or the video, the room that I'm using has this big window, and the street is right there, I'm only three stories up, <laughs> so you can hear traffic, so I hope that's not too distracting, um, because I really wanted to film and stuff out here, and granted, most of the videos that I do are like voiceover tutorials. See, that's like the train that just went by. Do you hear that? So we'll kind of see how it goes. I might have to reevaluate after I like watch this footage and see how annoying it is, um, whether or not I film at night or what have you. But it seems okay so far. I don't know. Let me know down below. Hopefully we can make this work. I'll try and keep these talking videos short and sweet then. But I don't know. It shouldn't be a problem, right? Anyway, let's move on. Ooh, my light is getting dim. Yeah, so that is really exciting. I love it here so much, you guys. It's so strange being, like, in the city like this. I've always been in the suburbs, so. Okay, let's start with the favorites. I don't have a ton to share with you, but I always say that, and I always have, like, 25-minute favorites videos. So we'll just get right into it. I'll start with beauty products because I know that's mostly what you guys want to see anyways. So let's get those out of the way. Okay, so the first thing is my most favorite lip combination that I've been wearing every single day. Not really. Like, once a week when I do my makeup. You guys know I've been moving like I've talked about before, so it has not been pretty around here. But I will share with you guys my favorite lip combo. I was wearing this in the last video that I did. That was, like, not my vlog. My first attempt at vlogging. Anyway, this is Morning Coffee Lip Liner. It's from their Pro Long Wear. Long, oh, I said that weird. Pro Longwear Collection at MAC, Morning Coffee, and it's right here. It's like a, almost like a ruddy brown. Uh, yeah, so this is the color that I use. It looks so, so pretty. It definitely is darker than my natural lip color. I don't go super heavy with it, and I kind of focus it more on the outer corners. So that is what I do with this. And then in the very center, with my finger, I tap in a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. Oh, I love this color, you guys. Um, I'll swatch it right here for you. This is what I'm wearing today, actually, by the way. I don't know why I didn't mention that. Did I not mention that? God, too much coffee. Um, so that is Pure Hollywood there. You guys have probably seen a lot of this um, all over Instagram, especially if you guys follow Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you don't, you should. Um, awesome products. Love that liquid lipstick. It's one of my most used. And then I top it off with a uh, MAC lip gloss in Oyster Girl, and I love this one. I don't know why I was watching it, because it's super sheer. Um, it's like a very pale, almost, it looks kind of like a pale lavender in the tube, um, but when you swatch it, it's so sheer. There's almost no color, and you get kind of like a golden pearlescence to it. It's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty over pretty much any nude or pink lip combo. It just makes your lips look really full. You know that, and the lip injections helps a lot. So I've been loving <laughs> this combo for sure. If you guys watch my how to contour or whatever video, I'll link that down below if you haven't. Um, but I love using the LA Girl Pro Conceals for highlighting and contouring. Love these so much. Um, the one that I was using um, for the longest time was, oops, this is a brand new one, sorry. I just ordered a bunch of new ones. I was using Beautiful Bronze, and I'll swatch that here, for contouring, which gives you a real, I use this on almost everybody. 
um, especially when I'm doing um, clients and stuff like that, this is the one I almost always use. But for myself when I'm super fair like this and for other girls who are fair or maybe have um, cooler skin tones, neutral to cool, I've been loving medium bisque. This is the color here. This is going to give you more of like a softer contour, not so kind of heavy glam and bronzy. Um, and I'll swatch it next to beautiful bronze. I love it so much. It's a little bit less warm, quite a bit lighter. There it is there. So this gives a really good base for like a cream contour if you want it a little bit more depth. Um, you know, in color you could always go in with a darker powder. But I've been loving this color. There's another one, medium beige as well, which is pretty similar in tone, but it's a little bit more warm. Um, just for reference, I know there are a ton of colors of these concealers. Um, P.S. I get mine off of Lady Moss. Dot com. That's where I get them. They have the best prices. And I get my eyelashes from there as well. I don't remember how I heard about that website, but it's so good. Okay. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Coffee is the devil today. Oh my gosh. You guys should be inside my brain. You'd be so afraid. If you guys have watched my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette review in comparison to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, um, if you haven't, I'll link it down below. How many times can I say that in this video? This might be the last time, hopefully. Um, I had said that if Anastasia came out with some contouring kit shades that were better for cooler and lighter skin tones, that I would go that route probably over the Kat Von D Shade and Light Kit, just because it just makes more sense financially to be able to replace um, just the colors that you use in a palette rather, rather than buying a whole new palette when you only used up two or three of the six or eight shades, whatever it is. Does that make sense? Anyways, literally the day, the day after that, uh, it was brought to my attention through Instagram that she did come out with two new shades and they are, let's see, Mink and Ash Brown. They are both pretty similar to Fawn, which is her current coolest shade, or the previous coolest contouring shade. It's the most ashy color that came in the original contour kit. That's the one that we're talking about, Fawn. She came out with two new ones that are really quite similar. I ordered them right away. Um, but I will say that the formula of them feels better. It feels nicer to me. Um, they are a bit cooler, a little less yellow, a little bit more on the red side, I will say, um, but still look really, really natural for fair to light medium skin. I've been obsessed with them. I can't really choose which one I like more because they're so similar to me. From what I've seen, I ordered both of them, and but the one that I've been gravitating more towards was Mink. So let me pop this out and show it to you. Whatever, I'm going to keep it in the pan. So <laughs> this one here is Mink. This is the one that I've been loving. This is Java. No, this is Fawn. This is the color I was talking about before, and this is Ash Brown. In the pan, when you're looking at them, Fawn still looks like it's the ashiest color, um, but when it's applied, how it blends out, you get a lot of that yellow kind of undertone to it, which isn't the most flattering if you have cooler to neutral skin. So I've been loving this one because you obviously don't apply it as heavily as you say apply it when you're doing a swatch. So I'm not going to really swatch these for you guys because they really honestly look so, so similar. Um, so yeah, I've been loving Mink. I wanted to share that with you guys. The formula, I feel like, is improved, and the color is amazing for fair girls. So love, love those powders. I just hit myself in the face. Did anyone see that? <laughs> My next item is a primer. This is the Hourglass number 28 Primer Serum. It's hydrating and anti-aging, and... It is the best thing that's ever happened to my dry skin. 
I can't even tell you guys. Okay, let me just show you kind of what the formula looks like. It's clear, so it's going to be really hard. I'm going to zoom you in. This is going to be impossible to show you. Okay, so this is just a little bit on the back of my hand. And look at the texture. It's like jelly. It's, it's jelly. What I do is I just apply one pump all over my face. You know, I wait probably about 10 minutes after I moisturize before I really ever do my foundation when I am using a primer. If I'm just using moisturizer and skipping primer, I'll put foundation on top right afterwards. But that's how I've been applying this. One pump all over the face. I can immediately go in with foundation. I don't need to let it sit or do anything, you know, weird. Um, and my skin feels so comfortable under foundations that can be a little bit more drying on dry skin. For example, my Holy Grail MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It's a very full coverage um, foundation that can be a bit drying. Even Makeup Forever HD can, which is kind of like my second favorite. Um, and it just makes your skin so moisturized, so comfortable. It really kind of makes your skin nice and plump and hydrated and makes your face overall look hydrated even after you apply a more drying foundation. I've never been a real fan of the Mineral Veil primer. Is that what it's called? Like the, the white hourglass primer? I feel like that's more for oily skin and it doesn't really do anything for me having dry skin and so many people rave about it and I just... I wasn't jumping on that bandwagon. Um, I haven't heard anybody talk about this, so I wanted to mention it to you guys because it's so bomb. Okay, next is a fragrance, and this one is by Tokyo Milk Dark. They carry this at Sephora. Um, I love this brand, first of all, as a whole. It's sort of indie, but not really because they sell it at Sephora, um, but kind of compared to like, you know, Gucci and whatever. All those sort of big box makeup houses. This one is more indie than compared to. Anyway, I love it. The smell of these are so good. They're very um, kind of like darker and deeper and more musky. Um, this one has a little bit of fruitiness and floral to it. Not fruity. They're a little bit darker and muskier and sexy. Um, they're definitely the kind of scents that I love. This one, which I didn't even mention yet, has like a little dandelion-y looking thing on the front. And it's called La Vie, La Vie La Morte. I don't know, I'm not familiar. I'm, I'm assuming that's French. I don't know. Or Latin? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, this is the one that has stolen my heart this month. Actually, it's been like a couple months, but... You catch my drift. Um, and let's see, the notes are white tuberose, cardamom, hibiscus leaf, and jasmine. So very floral, um, but not old lady floral. Um, and I don't mean any offense by saying old lady floral. When I say that, I think of like um, potpourri that my grandma used to have in the bathroom. That's what I think of. It's more of like a darker floral scent. Um, so pretty. I absolutely love this. So yes, get you some. The next beauty product is my NYX Eyebrow Shaper. This is basically just like a wax pencil. It's a solid wax in a pencil form. You can use a sharpener to sharpen this up. What I love about this is I can run it over my eyebrows, kind of really get it in there. And when I apply powder over it, the powder really sticks. To that wax and if you have any sparse areas where you have trouble um, sticking the powder to it um, this is gonna really help you out so ugh. so you're gonna love this if you're a girl with sparse eyebrows and you're trying to build them up or you've been having trouble with powder sticking in general I love this there are more expensive ones on the market this one's rather affordable which is awesome and you can get it at the drugstore you can even get these at Target now so Bomb. Next is a skincare item, and I saw this on a blog on Refinery29. I've talked about that before. If you guys don't follow them, definitely like their Facebook 
page because then you'll get kind of notifications when they have new stories. Do you know how that works? Um, and I love their blog. And this is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Micellar. Micellar? Is, am I saying that correctly? Water. It cleanses and removes makeup and hydrates. Um, no harsh chemicals, artificial perfumes, or dyes. Basically what you do is you take a little cotton round like this, just something like this, and you soak the cotton round in this stuff, and it is like a magnet. It is like a magnet for anything that is on your skin. It will take off the most full coverage makeup, not waterproof makeup. It will not take off mascara, it will not take off waterproof eyeliner, um, but foundation and face products is what I'm talking about. It will take that right off. It's perfect to use before you cleanse your face if you got like heavy coverage makeup on or if you are not really wearing a whole lot of makeup that day. This is kind of my lazy girl's face washing situation because I have to be real with you guys. I can be pretty lazy when it comes to washing my face. This cleanses my skin without over drying, which is amazing, and it really does get everything out. My face feels really clean um, and not overly dry, which is amazing. I will link that product down below. I will actually find the blog post um, because they had a lot more information about it that I know I'm skipping, so <laughs> I'll link that down below for you guys if you're interested, but you can get this at the drugstore. I got mine at Target. It's affordable and it's amazing and I freaking love it, so. So next I have a couple of new subscription services. These are fairly new to me. I've had them for a few months now and I've been obsessing over them and it's been really hard for me to get out just dedicated videos for them alone so I'm just going to share them with you really quickly. Um, the first one is Scentbird. You guys may have heard about this. I've seen like a lot of my friends have been getting this as well. Um, this was sent to me. Both of these were sent to me so keep that in mind. Um, but you guys know I'm honest and real, right? So this is a perfume subscription service. It's $14.95 a month and every month you get a vial of a perfume that you choose. You get to choose it. It's not like a mystery. They have all sorts of brands like Gucci, Clean, um, you know, all those big brands that Sephora has. Not so much the indie brands, but a lot of the big fragrance lines they have, which is amazing. And look at that size. This one, this is Clean Fresh Laundry. I have a couple of different kinds. This one's my favorite. I love this scent. It smells like laundry detergent. Whoopsie. This lasted me like three months. Granted, I have other scents that I wear. So if you're a person who wears the same scent every day, um, it won't last you that long. It would last you probably 30 days. Um, so what you get when you first order it, you get a little velvet container, which I just moved, you guys. I don't know where it is. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Get like a velvet pouch. You get this atomizer, this thing right here, and then you get a vial. Every month they'll, after that, they'll just send you the vial. You just stick it in here and you spray. That's it. How cool is that? So that's Scentbird. I will link their site down below. The next one is Roxbox. This is another one that I've seen a lot of people getting and getting excited about because it's pretty cool. What it is, it's basically like... Netflix for jewelry. You pay $19 a month, you get a box with three jewelry items. You fill out a style profile and all that jazz, so they kind of have an idea of what to sell you, send you, sell you. And yeah, you get three pieces of jewelry. The box is generally, oh, there's a train. The box is generally valued at about $200, so they're kind of pricier items, which is kind of cool. And when you're done wearing them, you send it back, and they give you a shipping label and everything. Uh, one thing I will point out to you guys, um, shipping back is free, but it comes in like a cardboard box, and this is inside. Save that cardboard box if you don't want to have to purchase a new cardboard box at the post office to send it back. So keep that in mind. Um, but this is how it packaged. Mine says, hey Megan. And then there's a little note inside, kind of personalized. They explain to you why they sent you the things that they sent you. And you can send this back 
and you kind of share with them what things you like to which you didn't like. You can purchase the items, anything that you want, and that kind of helps them pick out things for you in the future. So when you're done with the box, you send it back, they send you a new box, it's like Netflix, like old school Netflix. When you had like the DVDs you sent back and forth. Do any of you do that still? I just do the streaming. Okay. I'm going to show with you super quickly what's in my box. The first one is a statement necklace and this one I didn't wear a ton because these aren't really my style um, and I will tell them that but this is what it looks like. It is actually pretty cool. I just I'm way more casual than this you guys so it's super cool. It's got these like dark silver stones, gold spikes, it's about this length. That's pretty badass right? And then the next thing, this thing I've worn a ton, you guys may have seen this in videos and such, this is, uh, this is the necklace here. I just love this. It's like a cool stone. What is this called? I'm not sure, but how cute is that? I love this necklace so much. And last are these white druzy teardrop studs. I love these with like a t-shirt. You can dress them up a little bit more. So pretty and I love that druzy. Is it, am I saying that correctly? Um, I've been seeing a lot more of this sort of stone and jewelry and I'm so obsessed. These are so so pretty. So that's kind of an idea of what you get in the box. It's $19 a month. Netflix for jewelry. I'll link their website down below as usual. But I thought you guys would kind of be interested in that because I think that's super cool. So if you like Netflix and you like awesome jewelry, check out Rock's Box. I've been super lame this whole winter with like my fashion choices. Um, it's pretty much been like denim or leggings, a white or black or gray t-shirt, and a leather jacket. <laughs> and the only kind of accessory that I've been wearing are scarves. I'm so lame you guys I really am but I wanted to share with you guys my favorites because they're so bomb the first one I can't remember the name of the store offhand that I got it from because I was visiting my dad in Kansas City so I'm literally going to use like Google Maps the satellite version and find it in the mall where I was um, because I'm not familiar with the store but the pattern looks like this I'm not gonna be able to fit it all in frame I'll insert like a little clip of me wearing it. It's a huge sort of oblong, heavier quality scarf. That is so awesome. It keeps you really, really warm. It's really sort of voluminous and chunky um, and it's amazing. I love this one. The next one is a little bit more gauzy and light. This is the pattern here. It's kind of like an aztec -y pattern if you guys can see that how cute it's like yellow and pale blue this one I've been loving when I'm kind of lounging around the house when I want to keep a little bit warm but I can't wear something super heavy like that um, because it's lighter but it's still really huge and oblong so you do get that nice fullness which I don't know why I'm obsessed with that but I like scarves to be really full I don't like like the little strings that you wrap around your neck. I just, I'm not into that style. So I love this one. This one's by Moon Cats. They did actually send this to me. Um, so I will link their website down below if you guys are interested. They have super cute scarves. And I thought this one would be perfect for spring. So I picked this out because I love these colors. They're so cute. But they've been working really well with like my really lame jeans and t-shirt outfit with a leather jacket as well. So once again, I will insert a little clip of me wearing it so you guys can see what it looks like. And I will link their website down below. If I can get any sort of discount code for you guys, I will put that in the description bar down below. But I do believe they have a sort of special where you get 10 or 20% off your first purchase if you're a new customer. So I'll leave that information, you know where it usually goes. There's one last thing and I've been meaning to put these candles in my damn videos for months. I found them at Home Goods, and I have bought like every single one that I see every time I go. These candles are by Manly Indulgence. Um, this one is 5 o'clock shadow. They have all sorts of like manly scents. This other one is Fresh Shave. There's Cigar Lounge, which isn't my favorite. There's Lumberjack, there's Ivy League. I can't remember, I have tons of them laying around and they smell so good. <sighs> oh my 
my god, I love them so much. Um, if you're into the more manly, spicier scents for candles and home fragrance and that sort of situation, definitely check these out. I get them at Home Goods and I see them at every single Home Goods in every state that I've been. So I highly doubt that you won't be able to find them if you have one near you. And I want to say they're $7.99. Yes. $7.99. So it's a really good price. They burn really well. Um, they're just like a single wick candle. They burn really well and pretty evenly as you can see. And I'm obsessed with them. So good. And that's a really good price. Um, yes, I'm so happy I remembered to tell you guys about those. <laughs> oh, I'm such a ditz. Alright guys, so that is it for my February favorites. And I feel like I was filming for an hour and I know at the beginning I had said it was going to be really quick because I don't have a lot to talk about, but that's all I was doing. So, whoopsie. Check the description bar for any of the million things that I told you to look for <laughs> down in that area. Um, leave me any comments that you have. Let me know if you guys want a updated room apartment tour. And also, I kind of was wondering if you guys wanted to see like a tour of my freelance kit. Um, I thought that that might be helpful for some of you if you're interested in that. So let me know if you want to see those. What else? I think that's it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and bearing with me in this new weird filming area. This feels super strange. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.